Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's Caroline. Today we are going to be making a curly lace frontal wig. Okay, so let's just get started. Hair that we're using today is from Ali Pearl Hair. I will leave all of Ali Pearl links in the description box if you want to check them out. They sent me four bundles of curly hair. It's a little bit short. They sent me two 20 inches and then two 18 inches with a 18 inch lace frontal. This is the Brazilian Deep Curly. Their frontal did come pre-plugged already. I did went ahead and pluck it some more, but this is how it comes and it does come with a little bit of baby hair. Starting off with my mannequin head that's on a mannequin stand in a dome cap that I pick up from my local beauty supply store. I will list all the product and material that I use in this video. I will list them in the description box if you want to check them out. Starting off with my lace frontal, I'm going to position my lace frontal on my dome cap. And I'm going to position, making sure that the front part is flipped over like that. I do not want the front part laying on a mannequin head, but I definitely want my um, back part of the lace to be as flat as possible before I start to do my sewing. Once I have my frontal back position as flat as possible, I usually take a T-pin, I take about three T-pins, and I stick one in the middle, and then I stick one on the side near the ear tabs, and I stick another one on the other side near the other ear tab. After I position my frontal, you can see this is how it's supposed to look. The back is flat. I get the hair out of the way and clip it together. And then I take my needle and thread, starting from the middle of the frontal, I work my way down to the left side. And then after that, I will come back to the middle and work my way down to the right side. And as I sew down the frontal, I usually space out the needle, tiny spaces. I try to sew as close together as possible. This just helps because um, you don't want any um, bumps or you don't want the frontal to be folded once you are done or you have some lumps in the front of the frontal, you want the frontal to be as flat as possible. So when I sew, I sew the frontal, I space out my thread very close to each other. Once I have my frontal sewn down, it's nice and flat. I start off by putting my bundles. The first thing I start with is I usually pull my dome cap downwards a little bit more and I stick two T-pins right at the nip area. This just helps the dome cap stretches right um, that fits around my head and it just makes the dome cap stay in place as I do the sewing. Starting off with my first bundle, I am doubling my tracks. Using my thread and needle to sew down my weft, starting at the nip area. This is how I dust my stitching that makes my wigs last. I usually hold the thread through my left hand and I take the needle and I pass it through the weft and I make a loop. Then I release the thread from my left hand and then I pull. They just help my stitching stays in place. It makes my weft um, secure and is not loosening anytime soon.
Now that I have that first track down and it's secure and in place, I usually just go ahead and cut the track off. If you do not want to cut your track, if you are making a wig, you definitely don't have to cut your tracks. You can just do the flip over method, but I wanted this wig to be as flat as possible. So I went ahead and I cut my track. Once I have my first set of tracks down at my nap area and it's secure in place, moving to the moving on to the next set of tracks, the tracks will start to get longer. So you can place a T pin at the end of each track and hang the tracks over the T pin. This just helps the tracks stay in place as you do the sew in. All right, so once I have my second set of track in place, uh, once I get to the end, I usually cut off the webs and making sure that the um, thread doesn't ravel off before I cut the thread. I usually go back and stitch about two um, needle stitches to the webs and then I cut the extra thread off and then I tie about two to three knots um, with the thread before I cut off the extra pieces of thread. Now this just helps my um, track stay in place. It helps my thread not to unravel and it just uh, makes my stitching look neat. Moving on to my third set of tracks, I'm just going to be repeating the same steps using my T-pins, placing my webs over the T-pins and taking my needle and sewing the webs down. I'm going to just fast forward this part till I get to the top part. All right, now when you get near your frontal, you will do about four to five tracks before you get near your frontal. You do not want to sew your track on your frontal. Like I said, you can replace your frontal if it sheds a lot or if you need to change it without ruining your wig. So you want to start sewing your tracks a little bit off your frontal making sure that the track is not touching the frontal as close as possible but not on the frontal and once you sold down the tracks when you get to the other side it's the same way you do not want your tracks on your frontal so you want to cut the extra piece off and sew it down as close to the frontal as possible but not on the frontal And once you cut off your tracks, like I said earlier, you have to make sure your tracks are secure. So you do cut off the excess thread and you want to um, tie it about two to three knots before you cut off the extra thread. This just make sure that your thread doesn't unravel on your wig or it doesn't get loose. And once you have a good secure stitch, you will be able to pull your tracks and you will not see any holes, you will not see any loose thread. They all will be stitched nicely and it will be flat and no bumps and no lumps. This is how you know your stitch is secure. All right, moving on, starting with my second bundle, I'm going to continue sewing and working my way upward. I am going to be um, sewing my tracks about half an inch to an inch away from my previous tracks. 
and I'm making sure that my um, sewing is not on my frontal. I'm just going to continue sewing from one side and work my way to the other side and keep moving forward. All right, as I get closer to the top, this is how much space I have. And look at how my stitch is secure, okay? That's a nice stitch, all right? Moving on, I'm starting off with my third bundle. And I only have a little bit of space left, so I'm going to try to squeeze as much as I can. Um, and I'm going to work my way from one side, again, making sure that my... Um, tracks are not laying on my frontal I'm going to begin sewing and I think I did about three to four um, tracks up the top before I got to the frontal All right, so we are close to the frontal. This is all the space that I have left, and I did almost finish using the third bundle, okay? I'm just going to lay about two tracks before I get to the third track, and that will be my closing piece. And I will sew that as close as possible to the frontal, but I'm not going to sew it on the frontal. All right, you guys, so we are at the end of making this wig, okay? I am going to be placing the last um, track. It's a single track. I'm going to lay it right beside the frontal, and I'm going to start sewing. I am not going to sew it. I'm not going to attach it to the frontal, but I'm going to um, sew it as close as possible to the frontal.
all right once i tie my knots this is pretty much my stitch my wig making is complete this is how the wig look now we're going to move on to um, customizing and styling all right so for customizing the first thing i usually do is um, pluck my frontal a little bit just to make the front part look a little bit more natural um, most frontals come pre-plugged but some will be bulky and some will not be as pre-plugged as you would like it so you will have to customize it to your liking so I went ahead and I just tweezed out the entire front line just making it less bulky in the front and making it look a little more natural All right, once I have my frontal plug to my desire, I don't like my frontal too bald. This is how I like it. I usually go in and cut off the extra lace in the front. And this is how my pre-plug is looking. I love the way it looks right now. Now to go ahead and move on to making some baby hair, I just take off the front part, the first um, hairline, and I go in with my um, eyebrow razor is like a little shaving stick I usually use and then I just cut off my baby hair just making it shorter that it look a little bit more realistic. All right, after cutting my baby hair, I just went ahead and I took my Nairobi for me um, mousse and I just um, put that in the front just to lay down my baby hair. All right, so after laying my baby hair, I just took my spray bottle with water in it and the parts that look frizzy um, on the wig, I wanted to define the curls. So I sprayed the entire wig with some water just to refresh the curls and define it more. And this hair is so pretty. The curls are so pretty. Um, after that, I just took my pair of scissors and I chipped off the ends of the wig, just making it look even and making it look a little bit more nicer. All right, you guys, without any product on this wig, this is how the wig looks after I customized it. Very beautiful. The curls are popping, okay? Look at that hairline. It's very customized. It looks natural. And I just love the way the wig turned out. All right, say so my wig is almost ready to be put on, okay? But first, I need to cut off that extra piece that's under the lace, the extra cap. I just took my pair of scissors and I cut that extra um, cap off. And this is how the wig looks inside. All right, to so make sure that the wig fits on my head and snug my head, I always go in and add an elastic band um, you want to measure the elastic band I already measured mine so I know how it fits around my head you want to go in and sew it into the wig you want to sew it on each ear tabs 
using your needle and thread you want to sew one side and then you want to move on to the next side and sew the other side this will just help the wig still secure whether or not you glue it down usually i go in and still glue mine down but if you don't um, want to glue it down having the um, elastic band is a more secure way to have the wig stays and snuck on your head all right you guys so after you cut off your thread this is how your elastic band supposed to look um, it's supposed to be um, sewn on nicely and firm that it holds your head now if you like to bleach your knots you definitely um, could bleach your knot before you started making your wig I don't bleach my knots I just tend my lace with my foundation powder and that's what I'm doing I'm using my MAC foundation powder and I'm just tinting the lace to my skin tone. All right, say so I am done making my wig. I am done customizing my wig, and I'm done tinting the lace. I went in here and put my wig on, and look at those curls. Yes. Anyway, I did went in here and added my Cantu curling condition in the front just to define the curls on the front so a little more look at my hairline i am in love i love the way this wig turned out as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in my next one bye but honestly You've got to know that this ain't living, but we could run.